Welcome back to TCM. I'm Dave Carger. Up next, our New Year's Day Marx Brothers Marathon continues with a film that's long been considered one of their best. It's A Night at the Opera, released by MGM in 1935. Groucho, Chico, and Harpo run amok in the stuffy upper crust world of the opera as they try to promote the career of a struggling young singer, played by Alan Jones. In 1933, the Marx Brothers' fifth movie, Duck Soup, premiered, and it was a huge box office flop, even though now it ranks among the best comedies of all time. Because of its commercial failure, Paramount decided not to renew the brothers' contract. But as luck would have it, Chico was part of a group that played bridge with MGM's head of production, Irving Thalberg, and Thalberg was interested in working with the brothers. He saw their potential, but he didn't feel that the films that they made at Paramount were well-crafted. Though many Marx Brothers fans today enjoy the wildness of their Paramount run, Thalberg thought those movies were too chaotic, without any real structure or logic, and that the production values weren't as impressive as they could be. The Marx Brothers, minus Zeppo, who had left to become a talent agent, saw a real champion in Irving Thalberg, and they signed a new contract with MGM. A Night at the Opera was the first film they made at their new studio. Thalberg felt the brothers were at their funniest when they were set loose in the most dignified possible environments, like the opera, and he elevated the quality of this film with more polished production values, strong musical numbers, and charming romantic leads, played by Alan Jones and Kitty Carlisle. From MGM in 1935, also with Groucho's favorite foil, Margaret Dumont, here is A Night at the Opera. A Night at the Opera was the first film the Marx Brothers made at MGM, and it was a huge hit, revitalizing their careers after the box office failure of Duck Soup two years earlier. Irving Thalberg, MGM's head of production, helped the Marx Brothers hone their material by sending them out on the road to test it first. They spent eight weeks performing the most important routines in front of live audiences, continually revising them to get as many laughs as possible. Among the scenes they tested were the contract negotiation between Groucho and Chico and the now iconic stateroom sequence where everybody piles into Groucho's room. The Marx Brothers were accompanied on tour by their screenwriters, but director Sam Wood did not join them. When it came time to shoot the scenes, he didn't know about the rhythms that they had meticulously worked out. The writers had to intervene to explain that each gag and pause had been timed with a stopwatch and the timing needed to be maintained for maximum laughter. Up next, Groucho, Chico, and Harpo tried to save a struggling sanitarium in an MGM comedy from 1937. Next on TCM, a day at the races, then room service, and later at the circus. It's a clown show on TCM Tonight. <laughs> 